Welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Today we are looking at some 1989 nickels that are worth money. So we'll show you what to look for on your nickels that can make them valuable. And don't forget we're doing live streams every single Sunday where we're giving away free silver coins. There's no catch. All you have to do is just show up to the live stream by pressing the bell on my channel, it will notify you guys when I'm live streaming. That way you guys can hop right in and get in on those free giveaways. So let's just hop right into it and start off first tier with a 1989 P Mint Mark that has been broad struck. Now that is really, really awesome. Graded by NGC, man, check that out. This coin sold for over $190 as a result of that mint error. Moving on to a 1989 D Met Mark. Now this coin has been graded at a Mint State 66. So keep that in mind, the high grades are gonna sell for a lot of money, a lot of money. So the coin grading scale goes up to 70, this is at a 66, and this Jefferson nickel sold for around $215. 215 bucks. All right, so next up is a lot of different coins. So we have two coins in this lot that sold together. So first we have a 1989P. Both of these coins have been double struck. Both are off center with the second strike uniface. So this coin here is graded at a Mint State 63 by Annex. And this Jefferson nickel sold for around $75. Again, these sold together for $79, both of these coins. This next coin is 1999 that sold with the 1989 for the $79. So same type of mint errors there. Now next up is going to be a 1989P mint mark where the obverse is misaligned. So we see that there on the rim of the coin, on the right side of the coin, there where it says Liberty and the date. Now this coin here sold for around $45. Now, same thing with this coin. This nickel has been misaligned here on the obverse again. It's graded by NGC at an AU58. Or actually, this nickel sold with the last coin for $48. They both sold together, so I got confused there because we had a lot before that. Now we have these lots of coins. So those two sold for $48 as well. Now, here is a 1989. Jefferson nickel that is a double denomination. So the Jefferson nickel design struck on a Lincoln scent. So really, really awesome. You see the design of the Lincoln scent as well as the Jefferson nickel design. And this coin sold for over $800. So those are gonna be super, super rare. Now, same thing with this coin. It's a 1989 P Mint Mark Jefferson nickel that was struck on a Lincoln scent. The coin weighs 2.5 grams as a result of that error and this coin sold for around $580. Moving on to this next 1989 Jefferson nickel, we got a collar die break, and we can see that there on the top left side of the Jefferson nickel, and because of that, this coin sold for around $35. Next up is a 1989 Jefferson nickel that has been broad struck with an obverse brockage. Man, isn't that amazing? This coin, believe it or not, only sold for around $50, but it sold quite a long time ago. Uh, so I would imagine this would sell for much more money in today's market. Now here is a 1989 P Mint Mark broad struck out of collar, graded out of Mint State 66. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. I might have to get one of these coins and add them to my collection. This coin sold for over $80. Not too bad, 80 bucks. Now here's a very cool type of mint error. Now this has been struck three times, 70% off center and 90% off center. Look at that, man. That is amazing. $400 for this Jefferson nickel. That's what this coin sold for, 400 bucks. Here's a 1989 P mint mark, again with the high grade, so all the value comes in the grade here. And because of that, this coin sold for over $745. Now keep in mind, if you have a Jefferson nickel, it's got, you know, scratches, nicks, and, you know, dents, it's damaged. Of course, it's not gonna sell for these types of prices. This is an extremely good grade. So that's why this coin sold for that price. Here is a 1989 P Mint Mark that was struck 55% off center, 
You can look for off centers and really all these kinds of different errors on many different types of coins, not just Jefferson nickels. And this nickel here sold for around 25 bucks. Here's another off center from 1989. It was struck 45% off center. And this Jefferson nickel sold for around $45 as well. Now in 1989, of course, we have the S mint mark. That is the proof nickel. And this is graded at a perfect grade. So for anyone new to coin collecting, the coin grading scale only goes up to 70. This has a 70 grade with that deep cameo. And this Jefferson nickel sold for around $275. Now here are some other nickels that you should always be on the lookout for. Let's just get this coin right out of the way. It's the 1980D Denver Minted Jefferson Nickel. That is a very high graded coin. It's graded at a Mint State 66. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70, so this is at a 66, pretty high grade. It also has full steps. If you're not familiar with full steps, here's an example of what full steps is. I've discussed that in my other nickel videos, so be sure to go check those videos out, guys. And you can see here on the front of the coin, the D Mint mark will be right below the date. And because of the high grade, this coin does not have any types of errors. So because of the high grade, this coin sold for over $380. Now, if we look here at a 1980 error nickel, this is a coin that has been broad struck. So it is a mint error coin. We can see it there all around the rim of the coin there, both on the obverse, the front of the coin, and the reverse, the back of the coin. So a super simple error to look for. You wouldn't need a USB coin microscope for anything like this. You could pretty much see it very easily in your pocket change or in a coin roll from the bank. This nickel here sold for over $25. Next up is a simple type of error. Um, you can look for off-center errors on just about any type of coin. It's a 1980p mint mark Philadelphia minted Jefferson nickel that has been struck off-center. Now this coin here, because of that mint error, sold for over $25 as well. Now if we move on here to a little bit more valuable coin, this 1980 nickel here is the 1980p. It's been struck on a one cent planchet. So it's been struck on a penny, essentially, a nickel on a penny. You can see the coloration, the copper of the penny as well, and it is a damaged uh, one cent blank planchet. We can see the damage taking place on the coin as well. Now, this coin here sold for over $165. Now, if we look at another coin, this is similar to the last one. However, it's not damaged. It's just a 1980 nickel that has been struck on the one cent coin. And this error coin sold for over $125. Now if we look at this other 1980 nickel that was struck on a one cent planchet, this one has actually been struck 20% off center as well. So we can see that there and the image displayed the 1980p and we see it's off center and this coin here sold for over $1,800. Now for the last nickel that was struck on a penny, I promise this is the last one that was struck on a penny. If this one has been struck 10% off center, 1980 nickel on a one cent coin, and this coin sold for $890. So always be on the lookout for these um, very noticeable in your pocket change to find something like this. You know, it's going to be very noticeable. So always be on the lookout for those. Next up is a coin that I guess most people would probably look at and probably think that it's a damaged coin. However, it is an error coin. It's a ragged clipped error coin here from 1980. It is the Philadelphia minted Jefferson nickel. And this coin sold for a little over $40, so nothing too crazy. Now this next 1980 Jefferson nickel has the obverse struck through. So it's die capped error. We see there on the reverse, nothing taking place. I've actually found a die capped error in one of my uh, penny rolls before. I've talked about that in my videos. I showed you guys that. It is awesome to find these coins, man. It's just, uh, I don't know, there's no feeling like finding an error coin. It's just so fascinating and exciting to find these once you actually really do find them in your, uh, when you're searching coins. So this coin here sold for over $35, so nothing crazy, but still a $35 nickel. Next up, one of my favorite types of error coins, we got a 1980 five cent coin, so a nickel that is overstruck on a 1980 Philadelphia minted Roosevelt dime. So here on the front, we see the reverse of the Roosevelt dime plus Jefferson's head. 
the obverse of the nickel, and then here on the back you see Roosevelt's head and the reverse of the nickel design. So that is very cool. I want to find one of these so bad. Man, I cannot wait until I find one of these. It's going to be a crazy day. Now this coin here sold for over $3,400. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle, check out the videos to the left of me, and until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.